yesterday in the previous class uh, I discussed about the state assignment so the state assignment is completed this is the state assignment and I completed the state assignment and their output so now consider this state assignment column so the seven variable is reduced to three alpha beta gamma and the corresponding state table state assignment is this now look at this column uh, 10 and 11 <coughs> look at this column 10 and 11 see what is the critical race condition this is critical race okay critical race created here what is critical race see in a state more than one stable state it comes that is a critical race here look at this table here first stable set beta second stable set gamma so this can be moved to either of this if there is a chance occurs like that so the, we have two st stable set then definitely critical race arises consider one zero one uh, one zero column alpha and gamma are the two states so critical race arises now look at here zero zero this is not a critical race here we don't have any critical race condition look at here so beta alpha alpha is not stable now check for alpha alpha is stable so it's just a direct transition single stable set it here it is gamma alpha alpha is not stable now alpha become the present set check the next set alpha stable so it is direct transition so in this case uh, if an instability occurs it will eventually after two, uh, one transition it will eventually reaches to the stable state so uh, the thing is here only one stable state so there is no uncertainty so no it's a non critical race but but here it is critical race so that's a problem so to overcome this we have to do something so another one is uh, adjacent diagram so what is adjacent diagram this is adjacent diagram so what we have to do here i am assigning the states alpha beta gamma like that so how to uh, the thing is here three persons that we have alpha beta and gamma okay look at the column one zero b look at the column one zero here alpha to alpha transmission there a transition and stable gamma to gamma transition table uh, stable look at here and beta to gamma transition and it is not stable okay beta gamma these are the same state but beta gamma is different state so if there is a transition from beta to gamma we are considering the critical rise columns see one zero and one one columns okay first you consider critical rise column here the same state transition here beta and gamma uh, transition is there so we can assume, assume that beta and gamma are the adjacent states okay uh, now consider this column gamma gamma beta gamma beta beta consider this alpha and gamma so we can assume that alpha and gamma are the adjacent state okay so we write like this alpha gamma beta alpha beta gamma alpha and gamma are the adjacent state so we represent a bold line if beta and gamma are the adjacent line so we represent a bold line now consider the non-critical race alpha alpha no problem uh, gamma alpha it is already defined this is adjacent what about a beta and alpha beta and alpha what is the problem in beta and alpha beta and alpha in non-critical race it is not stable it should go somehow it will be going to uh, stable state in non-critical beta and alpha are not adjacent okay this actually beta to gamma this is actually uh, unstable state and it will somehow after some transition it will go to a stable state so we can say that beta and alpha are not adjacent assignment so that's why this represented by a dashed line so if i am assigning 0 0 here i can't assign 1 0 here why because these are adjacent 1 0 means 1 0 means a one bit transition that means adjacent state that won't be allowed between alpha and beta why because here alpha beta is not adjacent because it has to flow through uh, different uh, states to reach us to the stable state 
Okay. So in non-critical phase, consider non-critical phase, beta, gamma is adjacent. Beta, gamma adjacent, it reaches a stable set. Here alpha, gamma adjacent because it reaches a stable set. Be look at here beta, alpha, non-critical rise. So beta, alpha not adjacent. Okay, gamma is already defined, it is adjacent. So we don't check this. Consider this beta, gamma, beta and alpha. Beta, alpha, it is non-critical rise, not adjacent. Why? Because in non-critical race, it, ha it has to flow through uh, two or more three stages to reach us to the final state. So that's why instead of going this stage, it can go to another state. From that state, it can go to the stable state. Like that, it is going. So these things are not adjacent. So that's a dashed line. Here it is 0, 0. I can't put a 1, 0 here. Why? Because a 1 bit variation. 1, 0 means a 1 bit variation from 0, 0. So this become adjacent, so I can't write 1, 0 here. I can write 1, 0 here. That's why these two are adjacent. So only one bit variation, so this is adjacent. 1, 1 and 1, 0. Beta, I'm assigning 1, 1. 1, 1 and 1, 0. One bit variation only, so it is adjacent. What about alpha and beta, 0, 0, 1, 1. Two bit variation, so it is not adjacent. So like that, the condition is satisfied. Now, uh, I wrote the table again transition table. So the present state, next state capital Y1, Y2 for the input X1, X2 outputs. So you don't consider this uh, green arrow and this green arrows and this green letters. You consider only the pink color numbers. 0, 0. See here uh, for this uh, alpha and beta, I am assigning for alpha 0 0 beta 1 1 gamma 1 0 remaining one state is 0 1 so 0 1 I put just down there by because I am not considering 0 1 here I am I have only three states so this state is uh, unnecessary vacant so I put just down there so 0 0 alpha 0 0 beta 1 1 gamma 1 0 alpha 0 0 alpha see alpha 0 0 alpha so you put it as 0 0 in this graph I will explain okay look at here alpha 0 0 alpha so it is 0 0 only alpha 0 1 beta alpha and beta are not adjacent this is 0 0 this is 0 1 so the both are adjacent alpha and beta are not adjacent we know for alpha you have to first go to gamma, right? For alpha, you have to go to... These are not adjacent, one one only. So first you have to go to gamma, then to beta only. So first you have to write gamma. So that's why here it was beta, but I am writing it as one zero. Why? Because it is gamma. First it, it is not adjacent. First you go to gamma, then only beta. So I am writing it as beta. It is, here it is one zero. Another one is alpha. Alpha, alpha adjacent is so same state is zero zero. What about this alpha and this is gamma adjacent only so uh, I write it, I write it as 1 0 0 0 0 0 is 0 0 adjacent to 1 0 why because uh, this alpha and gamma are adjacent so it is 1 0 but here alpha and beta are not adjacent first it should go to gamma then to beta that's why I wrote, I wrote gamma here gamma number here now it is beta beta rho uh, beta to alpha beta and alpha are not adjacent so you can't write 0 0 here so beta you are in beta you have to go to alpha then you have to go this way only this way is not allowed you have to go this way so beta to alpha then alpha to so beta to gamma then gamma to alpha so beta if necessity is alpha then you have to write gamma there this is beta necessity is gamma so this is not adjacent Beta and beta and gamma are not adjacent for zero zero input. It is not adjacent, so you can write gamma. Why? Because you have to go to alpha from beta. This is a one way. This is another way. This way is not allowed, so you have to go to this way. So B gamma here one zero. Now beta beta is one one only. Gamma one zero. Beta one one. Now for gamma alpha gamma alpha gamma alpha adjacent. So it is zero zero. Gamma beta adjacent to 1 1 
Bethes one one, both are adjacent of one one, gamma gamma one zero, gamma gamma one zero. So same states are circled, that's why it's the same states are also here circled. Now why this arrow? Look at this graph, the table. Alpha necessitates is beta, but I am writing gamma. So alpha is there, you have to go to beta, necessitates is beta, but this is not possible, you have to go this way. First you go to gamma, then to beta. So first you from gamma, first you go to beta. 1 0, what is 1 0? 1 0 becomes the present state, necessity is 1 1, it is beta. It will go to 1 1, but 1 1 is not stable, then check the 1 1 state, 1 1 state, this is stable, so this goes to here. So for this transition, this transition finally it reaches the stable state. Now what about this arrow 1 0, this look at here, this is beta, necessity is alpha. Beta, you are in beta, you, you are in beta, you can't go directly to alpha. Through gamma, you have to go to alpha. Why? Because it is not adjacent. So beta, so first you write gamma. Gamma is 1, 0. So what is the necessity of gamma? 1, 0 necessity is 0, 0. If this is not stable. Now check the necessity of 0, 0. 0, 0 necessity, 0, 0, stable. So you have to go here, then from here to here, stable. You achieve the stability condition. Now, these things are uh, normally we done to eliminate the critical rays. For while designing the final stage circuit, now at that time, the race, around, race, race condition should be allowed. It should be, it should not come to the state. So, you have to do uh, elimination stage. That's why we are doing all this process here. Now, it is, we need to find out the output. 0, 0 is there, 0, 0, there, 1, 1, there. This dashed case, we need to fill up. I am writing with a green letter. This dash is filled with some numbers with the green. How to write this? That we need to check. So consider this uh, uh, this column, this row. Okay, that is 0, 1, x1, x2, 0, 1, y1, y2, 0, 0. This row, this column. How to write this letter? Actually, this row, this column, what was the element? Uh, 1, 0. 1, 0 is not stable, you know, 1, 0. First it go to 1, 0 means what is the transition here? 1, 0 is going to 1, 1, then from to 1, 1. What is the 1, 1 output? For 1, 1, what is the output as 0? So that 0 you have to write here. Okay? Now this 1, how to write this 1? This is 1, 0. That means 1, 1 means this, this stage only, no. This output is corresponding to this state. What is 1, 0? You check the 1, 0 state. 1, 0 state is 1, 0 stable. What is the this stable output 1? So that one should write here. Now for this, this is 1, 0. So 1, 0 means 0, 0, not stable. Then again check for 0, 0, 0, 0 stable. So this 0 you have to write here. Sorry, write here. Now for this, this is 0, 0. 0, 0, necessary 0 only. Necessary is press. 0, 0 become the present state. What is the next state? 0, 0. So this 0, we can write here. What about here this 0? How to write this 0? This element is 1, 1 only. What is the next state of present state 1, 1? Next state is 1, 1 only. So what is that output 0? So that 0 here. Now for this one, how to write this one? This one is 1, 0. Okay, what is the next state of 1, 0? Necessity of 1, 0 is 1, 0 only. What is this output? 1. So that output is reaches here. So this is how the output is filled up. Okay. So next, the last step is drawing the circuit that we will discuss in the next class.